Hey, we've got a lovely guest. Julia's here. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. In Good the green. Here. Yes, we're, we're summery and we're Yonanery. It's summery so and we're, we're Christmassy and we're Yonanery. <laughs> so, Jo, our producer, a, a lot of people know a lovely Jo. I wish we could put a picture up, but she's so private. She was telling me before the show, Yonana, she said best thing she's seen yeah. on, the, on the network. She loves it. She loves it. And she used to produce us here with Yonanas yeah. and loved it, loved working with Jo. Thank you, Jo. She said to me, she said, she said, for a hundred bucks, this is the cheapest way you're going to be making ice cream. And I said, Joe, it's not hundred bucks, love. It's sixty nine fifty. And she goes, tell everyone to buy one immediately. Yeah, it's Honestly. a really good price. Honestly. And I fell in love with it the second I first saw it about four years ago now. We've been on TVSN for about three years. Um, it turns fruit into creamy, soft, delicious, sorbet-like ice cream right. in a matter of seconds, which means that if you're got intolerances or food allergies or if you're throwing away a lot of fruit or you just want to eat healthier, mm. this is perfect for you. Let's do it. I want to see this in action. Right. I've never done a Yonana show before. No. I've seen it and I've been sitting there going, oh, I want one of these. Because I've got three monkeys at home, right? 14, 11 and 9. They're, they could do this on their own. Absolutely. It's totally child friendly and children love it because, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to love those, you know, those uh, Play Doh type makers where oh, you yeah. put in some, oh, you know, yeah. dough and it comes out like spaghetti at the yeah, bottom. It was always so exciting. Well, this is the same sort of thing, but you're putting in fruit and like magic, it's coming out like the, ice cream. The machine cream. is so small. Have you noticed that? Yeah. The footprint is tiny. It's about half the size of a toaster. Exactly. And very light. But the motor is really strong because it's going to churn through frozen fruit. So what we like to use is overripe fruit. Overripe fruit is sweeter. It's actually easier to digest. And so many People are throwing away so much fruit each year. Here's a way to save it. So our brown spotty bananas, and they can get much worse than this as well. Yeah, I've seen worse. Don't throw them out. Peel them, put them in a lock and lock or in a um, little plastic bag and pop them in the freezer. Right. When you pull them out, they will look like this. You can pop them through and instantly they will turn into Yonana. So what Frozen I've done bananas. there is pull them out, leave them for about five to seven minutes. They sort of start to glisten and you can actually snap the bananas. All right, And then let's you see. literally just pop them in and off you Switch go. Switch her on. And then you just push them through. Oh, get out. So I don't have to refreeze them or anything? Nothing. You can refreeze. But that's ready to eat. Look at this. Okay, I've got a spoon ready. There you go. So as you can see, oh my gosh. that is literally gone from that to that. It looks like ice cream. It has the consistency of ice cream or a gelato. Come on. Oh, oh, it's like frozen still though, right? Yeah, so you don't have to refreeze it. That's ready to wait in seconds. Because, you know, you see some ice cream makers, then you've got to refreeze it. Yeah. You know, horses for courses. Exactly. But if I can get ice cream in, what was that, 20 seconds? Absolutely. You get your craving and you hit it on the head. <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't it delicious? It's super delicious. How the heck are you doing that? So that's all in the blade system, which I'll show you shortly. But as you can see, you could hold that above my that. head. I'd have no fear. It's not going to dribble. It's not all mushy. It's not like a squished banana. So no, don't it's not like a squished if banana. If you put banana, a lot of people will say, oh, I'll put them in my blender, I'll put them in my food presser, no. I get the same sort of thing. I'll show you the blade system in a minute. It's not going to do the same thing. It's a totally different blade. This will whip it up so it's soft, it's creamy, it's smooth. Totally changes the consistency. And if you've got children or adults especially who don't like fruit, they will love this. They will. Look, that is so smooth and that is so mm -hmm. creamy. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, phone lines are busy. Um, Yonana's cheapest price ever. If you're thinking about a gift for Christmas too, by the way, yeah. takes up zero space on the bench. My wife, if I'm ever buying something new for the kitchen, she goes, how big is it? Always, because we've got no more room. Well, the great thing Tiny. is you can store this separate as well, which I'll show you quickly there. That yeah. comes up in two pieces. So I oh, store mine separately. That. And it is, as you said, a great present for kids or for a whole family. So you might be going somewhere for Christmas Day yeah. or for, you know, a celebration. You just, you know, wrap up the box all pretty and it's a beautiful gift for the Maybe whole family. Else. Okay, so this one, I wanted to show you one without bananas. I've thrown a few bananas in in case we need the creaminess. But mm. what you can do is actually freeze... Um, Liquids. So if you like your yogurts, you can get some yogurt, freeze it into ice cubes, yeah. and then pop them through as well. But It'll I, make frozen yogurt. 
it'll make like a frozen yogurt. Yeah. yeah. What I found the other day in the supermarket is Greek style yogurt already frozen in the freezer section. Yeah. So that looks like ice cream. Don't be fooled. It's not. It's frozen yogurt. Right. But what I'm going to do is do the frozen yogurt mm. with some almond butter, which yeah. is 100% almonds. It's like a peanut butter, but yeah. made from almonds, and dark chocolate with almonds. Let's go. Let's go. We've got a busy so, show today. We've got so much to get through. I, we're ready to eat. What I do is I pop it in first. Now, if you're just using a little bit of yogurt, you can actually... Oh, making a mess. If you no, just you use can... a little bit of yogurt, you can pop... Oh, my God. <laughs> you can pop you it through like You shouldn't have had that glass of wine before lunch. You should, you know, you think it's going to be OK, and then the cameras switch on. No, I'm totally joking. Julie would never do that. She's far too professional. <laughs> so um, you just pop it I'm all in. Butter. I mix it all in together yeah. and then pop a little bit of chocolate in. The chocolate and the butter obviously doesn't have to be frozen. And switch it'll it mix it all in together. It's a tough machine. You're pushing that down. Is that safe? Yeah, it's, it, it works really well. OK. Or the frozen yogurt. Hey, can I just say, because I know gourmet ice cream is like 10 bucks a pop for a little one. This is a heck of a cheaper way, a lot cheaper way to do it, right? Absolutely. And there's the chocolate. This is a tough machine. There you okay. go. Done. I'll leave that there so you can get some okay, nice chocolatey almond bits on top. But as you can see, as you said, it's more gourmet style. You can yeah. add in whatever you like. Oh, that's great. And it's got tiny little chunks of the chocolate. Yes. Ooh. It's the almond that's a little tang in it, isn't it? That's gorgeous. Yeah, so no, it's the yogurt. The yogurt. Okay, yogurt. so the yogurt obviously is not going to be so sweet as a banana. You can add a little bit of mm. banana in there if you like it sweeter. And you can mix and match as well. Can that is gorgeous. Drizzle some maple syrup over the top if you like. Just to remind you, it's called Yonanas, but yon but frozen bananas is the tip of the iceberg yeah. of what you can do. Is there a recipe book or something? Yeah, so you will get a recipe book in with your cinnamon pack. Right. Um, and there are recipes online as well. And you just come up with your own imagination. So we call it Yonanas in the sense that it's kind of like a frozen yogurt, kind of using frozen bananas, but you don't have to use bananas. You can use any combination mango. of fruit that you like. Mango on its frozen own mango. is my favourite, absolutely. Really? What about that you get those bags of frozen berries? Yes, so you can use any pre-frozen fruit. Great question. They're like five bucks, three exactly. bucks, cheap. Any frozen fruit ready to go. If you've got frozen, if you've got fruit that's in the uh, fruit basket that's going yuck, peel it, freeze it, don't throw it out, save it. And especially in certain times of the year, tinned fruit you might want to use like the tinned lychees that I'm just about to do. Oh, my gosh. So, again, try and get them in natural juice and then freeze them. Hey, there's the pack just quickly we're having a look at. By the way, $69.50, lowest price ever for the Yonanas. Get it now for Chrissy. You'll get it weeks before Christmas and you'll be happy about that. Hey, um, so you're getting the um, Icy Pole. Yeah, so they're called Yonana Pops. So, again, they just work simply. You make up your Yonanas just like we did. Pop them in. I've got some down the front on display. Perfect for kids or perfect for having after school or after sport ready to go. And your Tupperware container, which allows you to either freeze your fruit in it or, as I mentioned earlier, you can make a whole batch up. Mm. and then pop it in there to freeze. Get the kids, get the kids, get their imaginations going crazy. Take yeah. them to the supermarket. You know, you've got school holiday days where it's like it's hot and it's crazy. Let's go make some Yonana stuff. I love it. Yeah. OK, what do we got? OK, so here's another sort of entertaining style, which is I love, I love lychees. There is no way I'm going to peel... <laughs> and de-seed a real eye cheese. I'm so with you. I'm so, with you. <laughs> so these are the tinned ones. They do come in syrup. Okay. I rinsed them and then I just froze them just like I would any normal fruit. And you can do that for mango and pineapple in winter sure. as well if you like. Um, and now, what is it? What's this? That is coconut cream. So I've just bought the tin of oh, coconut yeah. cream, popped it into ice cubes and then frozen it. When you bring it out again, leave it for about five to ten minutes because they will be really, really firm. Mm -hmm. And then we're ready to just pop them through. And Let's I'm start. going to make a nice little uh, coconut lychee. Do you know the cool thing is, is that you don't put it through the Yonanas. I've got to remind you of this. You don't put it back into the freezer. As soon as it comes out, you're going to eat this. It's ready to go. You're going to love that. Kids are going to love it. And it's healthy. Remember when um, Julie was talking about just doing the fruit? Bananas, that's all it is, just bananas. Maybe you just mix, mix a frozen banana with maybe some, you know, frozen berries out of one of the bags that you can buy in the supermarket. The whole dish has probably cost you like 50 cents. And it's super healthy, super tasty, fills you up, and you're done. There you go. So this one, 
obviously higher water content, less fat content. It comes out more like a sorbet Ooh, rather than a gelato. But it's a perfect palate cleanser. Mm. Very summery. I can smell that from here. Oh, I can bang some lime in that as well. Oh, that's, lovely. And you great. can pop a little bit of something over the top if you're entertaining and you're yeah. serving it as a dessert or if you wanted to pop something over the top and make it into a little bit of a cocktail, you could as well. A little, oh, a little bit of Aliano over the top of that would um, <laughs> do that's the trick. That's an interesting thought. Oh, I will. Oh, I nice. love that stuff. Exactly. You, know Sprinkle you said it you on made top. a dish for your sister. Was it your sister? With the banana and the fruit? And you said, oh, there you go, that's healthy. That's oh, good. yes, last night yeah. I was prepping for all of this and I had leftover uh, mixed berry and um, banana yonanas, which I made our little um, oh, bickies out of the front. Yeah, so they're our little uh, oh, cake biscuits. So they're like an ice cream. Cookie. Oh, my kids love those ice cream cookies. Exactly, perfect for kids' party. So I made that oh, beautiful batch up and um, I had some leftovers and I just popped it in a bowl and gave it to my sister and she goes, oh, excellent, this will be my dinner, thank you. <laughs> and you know what, there was no guilt because it was essentially two bananas and a handful of berries. Yeah. It was really? hot, she couldn't be bothered, it was already 8.30, she'd just gotten home from work, that was her dinner. She was fine with that and you know what, there's zero guilt. Do you know what, you just nailed it. How, how often does that happen? Summertime you get home and you go, you know what, yeah. it's hot and I just can't be bothered. We say that about a lot of things, but it's, you know what, <laughs> honestly, when it comes to eating... Yeah, exactly, or even breakfast. I mean, so that's a perfect breakfast, it's also the perfect dinner, it's also the perfect snack, it's also the perfect after-school treat. I mean, if only I had known about this back then... Oh, I my gosh, so I wish I had this as a kid. Yogurt. Okay, hey, All right. clean, are these clean? Yeah, really easy to clean. So as you said, small footprint, really light, but a strong motor. They can be stored separately because this is where all the magic happens. So cleaning is super simple. This all just twists off. Nice. Great Christmas now. colour, by the way, too. Yeah, I know. Huh. It matches the set today. There are five pieces. That's everything. So I usually just rinse them under warm water straight away yeah. um, because I just like to make things easy for myself. But you can just pop all of those in the top rack of the dishwasher as well. They're That's all BPA-free and they're super simple. So, yeah, as you can see, this is the blade we were talking about before. So this is a blunt blade system. No fears for the kids of cutting themselves. Yeah. That literally rotates at an extremely high speed, many circles per minute. Mm. Don't know the technical <laughs> term for that. <laughs> you and your fancy um, words. <laughs> um, and literally, as the frozen fruit comes down through the chute, it grabs it and whips it up essentially and emulsifies it, which is what gives you that creamy texture. Yeah. Unlike a cross blade or something like that, which would actually chop your fruit or make it right. all sticky, those sorts of things. Um, so that all sits back this together like that. This is a like real that. unique technology. Huh? Absolutely. Patent and technology, there's nothing like is it in the right? world. Is that right? It's patented yep. and never... Wow. Exactly. And it was sort of based on the concept of the commercial catering machines for ice yeah. cream machines and things like that. And that's it. It all goes back together. If it's not plugged in, it won't switch on. And if it's not locked into the right position, it also won't work. And you can't touch the blades on the bottom either. Hey, if you just tuned in, this is you, Yonanas. They're the best price we've ever, ever done this at. If you've seen it before and thought... Oh, does it just do nanas? Oh my gosh, just the tip of the iceberg. You'll get a recipe book with this. But you know, frozen fruit, you get a tin of mangoes and freeze them in the, um, yeah. take them out of the tin obviously, but you freeze them in the, in the freezer. Imagine that, your frozen mango sorbets. Or if you want to do your naughty stuff, you know, with the chocolate like we did, yes. you want to do your lychee with the um, coconut cream, so much more. What about cocktails? Yes, absolutely. Well, I was just realising that I left my uh, lime spritzer in the fridge, so if we get time, we might get someone to run and get our... Um, we'll get Giovanni to do it. If we can stop talking the, to the girls, it's very difficult. In the kitchen, very there difficult. might be a, uh, a, some uh, spritzers on the table, perhaps. So what I've done here is I wanted to make a pineapple mojito. It's yeah. me and my sister's favourite cocktail. Pineapple mojito. Yes, Nothing so I've got like that. frozen pineapple, frozen yeah. lime, again, citrus, grapes, cherries. You can use any sort of fruit mm, at all. Come on. Now, these bananas might not look very pretty. No, they don't. But they've been soaking in a little bit of... Something, something. Yep. Okay. And the mint there I've poked in so that they all absorb that beautiful flavour. Hold on. Let me just have a little bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they have been soaking in a little something. So it's Christmas, right? It's there. Christmas. This goes really well with our Woo! Christmas cakes. And then again, I just pop it all in together. This is cool. Mix How it fun up. is this? And you can do this with anything because it is cocktail season. So if you've got people coming over, make up your yananas. It's going to be like a little bit of a slushy for the kids. You can do it non alcoholic for the kids. And you can add a little bit of something in there and make it like a daiquiri for the adults. Oh, all day long. Daiquiri's for dinner, I say. Honestly, yeah, do it responsibly, but see, when it's hot and you can't be bothered, daiquiri dinner. Oh, look, I cannot tell you 
how smooth this comes out and how creamy it is. And it's ready instantly. As soon as it comes out, you're eating it, you're done. You know, when I get mine, I think I'm just gonna always have frozen mango, frozen bananas, and a bag of those frozen berries in the freezer all the time. So I've always got a dish ready to go this summer. Every night you got a snack, That's you got it. a little treat. That's absolutely it. So mm. that is beautiful like oh, that if you wanted to serve it to the kids. Yeah. Otherwise, pop it in a nice glass and, and you know, glasses and, and bowls are actually the Look way to make that. everything so beautiful. You probably wouldn't serve this one to the kids because of the... No, but you could do a... Extra you could something. do a virgin Oh, you're going to do a little something. So if you oh, want wow. to... Look how. Pour that over the top. This is lime mineral water, so there's okay. you know no sugars and anything in there as well. Pineapple mojito. And I've got a beautiful little straw glass in here, and you can serve that like that. What will actually happen is it'll start to melt a little bit. You get your slushy sort of feel, you get your daiquiri feel, but oh, you'll gosh. taste that lime, that mint, that can alcohol, I have a crack of that, guy? that pineapple. Go for it. And feel free to use the spoon and get some of the yeah, chunky oh, stuff yeah, out. I'm going to get some of the chunky stuff out. Oh wow. Yeah, you did marinate that well. Oh, I got a bit of foam up top. Oh wow! Yeah, that's nuts. Too strong? Well, Ooh. no, it's good. So the other Do option is you just put a little shot over the top of that when you're ready. No, that is beautiful, and the fact that it's got it just screams summer at you. Mhm. Mm and uh, hold on, one more. Mm. With the pineapple in there too? Yep. Oh, passion fruit would also be delicious. Man, you can do amazing stuff. We're going to go. Thank you. Thank my you. Love. Enjoy. Great to see you.